Hello everyone, my name is David Revoix and in this video I want to show you how to create custom brushes on the fly. It means creating brushes while you are painting on a canvas and creating these brushes to make little stencils or little stamps on your canvas. So to just do some repetitive pattern. So first I want to create the stencil pattern, so I will, I will just select a classic brush, this one, for example. I will create a new layer, and then I will draw the stencils. So I'm on a new layer and I create a little flower and I will also just add a little shading on this flower. Okay, the flower is done. We will check if this little stencil can look good on a lot of different background. I'll select the move tool and just move it to another background and it's look good. So I will keep it in the center, rename my layer to flower and now we will start to transform it as a stencil. So first I advise to already pick a stencil brush, a stamp or stencil brush. So I will pick for example this one and then I will go to my layer flowers and just do a right click and isolate the layer. So now Krita only display the little stencil or stamp of my little flower. I just take the, the rectangular selection tool and I will draw a selection around my little flower. So you can press shift to make a rectangular or a square, a perfect square selection. And if you want to move this corner, you have to press alt at the same time, the alt key. So now I can move, resize and draw a perfect square around this little flower thing. So now I have the flower a perfect square around it and I can move to the next step and this next step is to open the brush editor. So I pick the brush, I open the brush editor, it's here, little icon here and I just select the pixel brush engine, it's very important and I go to the brush tip and predefined. So yes, these three should open this panel and the button that will interest us is the stamp button. I open the stamp button and this button will show me the selection I did of the little flower. I have to give a name to the stencil or the stamp I just created. So flower and I will keep all the other option as default. I'm pressing OK and now I will just deselect and I should be able to paint a lot of little flower. So I will click again the flower layer, remove the isolated layer and now I can work and just passed the little stamp I did. I can go to the size, make it a bit bigger for the first floor and make it a little bit smaller for the background. This is too small. Huh? 
this brush have all the information of color. So you can see that if I change the color here for a pure orange, this will have no effect on this brush. And if I select some black color, it will be the same because this brush have color information inside. So in the next example, I will show you how to create a brush like this, but with the possibility to change the color. But first, we will try to save this brush, this new brush we made. Because if right now I'm just shutting down Krita, this brush is partially lost. So I'm going back to the brush editor and I will try to draw something on this little scratch pad. This little squarey dotty things is the thumbnail of our brush pre preset. So here you have the little thumbnail of all the brush presets and here it will be the new one. I advise to zoom the canvas to, to see a big flower because the zoom of the canvas will be also the zoom of this area. So I paint here a little flower or oh, just five just to make a, a, li a beautiful little uh, thumbnail and I give it a name. I keep my surname or my nickname at the first and say flower demo video. Okay, I save it to a preset and now in my preset I have this little flower. So it means that this brush is now saved and I can uh, just activate it, select another brush preset and come back at any time to paint some flower everywhere. Okay, I will press delete to remove all the things on this layer and I will show you how to delete now uh, a brush. So you, you can't delete here by right clicking or on this panel, but on this one next to the brush editor, you can select a brush preset and delete. There is a little trash can here. And that's, that's how you delete a preset. So now the second part, I will show you how to do a brush preset, uh, a stamp, but a stamp like this one where you can just change the color. So I will delete this flower layer, create a new layer and we will create the, the pattern, the pattern we need. So for this new pattern, I will do some uh, leaves like a tree, a pattern of leaves. I'm moving, I press the T key to move to the move tool. Moving, I see it's a bit sharp on the edge. I will remove some sharpness. Okay, did it. And press Ctrl T to make a little transformation. I will make it uh, a bit more vertical. And now, yes, it looks good. So to make um, a brush with a control on colors here, first I need to turn all this little color I made to black and white and uh, more to black alone. So I will just press Ctrl and U and it will call this filter. It's uh, the U saturation value adjustment. You can find it also on filter adjust and it will be here. You see Ctrl U and I will just drop the saturation to zero. 
OK. I will also press Ctrl L and to get the level. So you can get here, here also, adjust and level. Ctrl L. And I will just contrast by moving this slider here and this slider here. The little selection. And I want, there is some little grey and some black. And the final touch is to go to filter again and to do color and color to alpha. So this step will transform all the bright pixel to transparency and this is the alpha things. So yes, it's the white, white color we want to transform to transparent. And now we will have, if I just isolate this layer, we'll have a shape that is half transparent and half black pixel. And this is important because the black pixel will be where Krita will put some color and the transparency will remain transparent. So that's how you design a stamp for a custom stamp uh, for making this type of brush. And now we will repeat the process. So I'll just take the draw selection, rectangle, rectangular, press shift on my keyboard to make a square, press alt to move the square and draw just a, a just a, a little beautiful square around it like this. I keep in isolated layer, just go to my brush editor, pixel brush tip, predefined and the stamp button. And now I have this dialog again. And from this dialog, you can see my brush. Uh, this is transparency. It's the same color as the user interface. And I will just need to change the name. So tree leaves demo. And I will create here. I will check this box create mask from color. So this is the, the option we are looking for. And this is this one where you will be able to change the color. And for the other one, I would just leave as it is and press OK. So now I move back to brush and I have my new brush. I deselect all. I can remove what is it on this layer and turn off the isolation, isolate layer off. And now I can test my new brush. So you can see with green, with a bit brighter green. And with dark, etc. If I change the color, you can see that this brush, oops just change it also. So I can resize this brush, I can uh, change the color, uh, I can move the opacity, etc. It's a, it's a real functional brush. So I, I would just zoom in and just try to save it. So here I have a, a little button to reset this zone. And I will just make a, a little pattern and give it a new name Divad Leaves Demo Video and save it as a new preset. So now I have my new preset. So I hope you learned something with this video and uh, it's uh, one of the first time I do a video live recording and speaking at the same time. It's a very hard exercise and maybe it's the 10th time I record again this video. So I hope you enjoy and next time I will try to do another video on the other settings in the brush editor. So have fun with creating custom stencil brush and uh, see you soon. Goodbye.